when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh, the rarities of it are very confusing. As you can see here, we just have a handful of rarities, just the main ones, and uh, it can get pretty confusing. But I will go through all the rarities, the main ones, uh, without the different variations, just the main ones, and I will tell you everything about them. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's the Unlimited Collector coming back at you guys again today with another video. And as you can tell, we're going to be going through all the different rarities of Yu-Gi-Oh. So we have a lot of different rarities in Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, obviously, there is a, uh, a lot of different variations for some rarities. And uh, we're just going to go through a few main ones here, mainly the ones that Yu-Gi-Oh actually list on their website as the main rarities. We'll look at a couple different variations that I have but we'll try and keep it as simple as possible because it can get very confusing. But without further ado, let's get right into the main rarities, uh, the first ones that are the most common, which are the common rarities. So we'll get these out of the way and we'll look at the common. So this is a common rarity in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, this slot machine for Magic Cooler is just a common card. Now you can also get different variations of the commons which are short prints and super short prints. Um, now Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't actually list that as a rarity itself and I wouldn't really consider it, as a, or consider it as a rarity but some people do. Now this is actually a, a short print this slot machine is. Um, obviously there's not really anything special about the uh, card artwork or anything to make it a short print or it's just a plain card which makes it a common. So um, you can consider it a rarity if you want, but that is a short print common. Now next rarity is a rare. Um, now you can tell by the silver letter foiling. Um, there's no holographic foiling on the picture or anything else on the card. And it is just like a common other than obviously the letter foiling. Now nothing really special about the card, just the uh, foiling. So that is a common. Or, sorry, a rare. Um, there's not very different variations of a normal rare. This is just it. Next rarity is just a super rare. So as you can tell, this Insect Queen from Retro Pack 2, um, you can tell just the picture itself is actually shiny there. Uh, I can get the light at a right angle there and you can see it. Um, it is very nice too. Uh, probably one of the best rarities that are than common and just rare itself, obviously. Uh, very nice. Now there's um, not very many variations of super rare. This is the only one. So just like rare, super rare. Next is ultra rare. So as you can tell, uh, ultra rare is actually just like super rare. It has the holographic picture and then it actually has gold lettering instead of silver like the rare. Obviously it's rare uh, has silver lettering. Gold has, or ultra rare has gold, sorry. And uh, that is the main way to tell. And you, uh, it's, it's a very nice rarity. I don't believe there's any different variations of it. Um, no, there isn't. Um, so that is your ultra rare. Next rarity is ultimate rare. Now, ultimate rare, you can tell, is just oh, crazy. Um, you know, I don't know actually what to call the holographic foil that they put on this, but it is insane. Uh, obviously, all of this is um, foil different. The star, and if it was a monster, have the uh, stars on that foil uh the picture is crazy the edges on the new one and i think it's on the older ones too it's like that now ultimate rares i think do have a little bit of a variation with some of the uh foiling and stuff you get gold letter and that kind of thing but usually um that might be a misprint or something and i wouldn't really consider it a different rarity but some people do so that is an ultimate rare next is uh, secret rares uh probably my favorite foiling or second favorite. Uh, now there are different variations of Seeker Rare and I will show you one different variation that is actually probably my favorite. Um, now uh, I would consider this its own rarity and the other one I'm about to show you your own rarity but uh, Yu-Gi-Oh itself doesn't consider that. So um, as you can tell, it has the little holographic lines going through here. Um, they're like little dots, you can tell. There you go, you can get that pretty good on the bottom left there. And then it, this one has a gone through the whole card. It has a bleed, as we call it, gone through the whole card. And the letterings are different. Now you can get different misprints and variations. I call it misprints. Some people call it variations. Where the letters are gold and uh, not silver. I think that's silver and silver in different colors, really. Um, but yeah, that is secret rare. And as I will show you here, this is another variation. This is what I would call its own rarity. It is a prismatic secret rare 
Uh, as you can tell, it's secret rare, got the little dots, but it is going uh, horizontally and vertically. Um, this is probably my favorite rarity, it is really, really nice. Um, and that is Prismatic Secret Rare and Secret Rare. Now, next is Ghost Rare. I don't actually have one, but uh, it's a lot like all the other rarities. It's just like, uh, it's really just like an ultra rare, but it has a, uh, you'll see it up here on the screen now. Um, but that is Ghost Rare. I don't really have much to say about it because I don't have it or actually have one myself. But uh, you see it, you get the gist of it. Then again, we have Star Foiling Rarity. Uh, it is a lot like the Mosaic Rarity and the Shatter Foil Rarity. I don't actually have one myself, but uh, a lot like it. And then uh, you'll see a picture up there on the screen of it. But other than that, we'll jump right into the other rarities here. We have Shatter Foil, which is just like Shattered Glass on the card. Uh, you can see it going through it, the card. It's pretty cool. Um, and then you have the Mosaic Rarity which is uh, just like, uh, if you know what a mosaic artwork piece is, it's kind of like that. Uh, you can see it going through at the card there. It's pretty nice. So these are a lot, a lot in the same. They come in the battle packs and the, uh, I think they come in some of the dual sleep packs. I'm not sure though. I don't actually don't quote me on that because I don't think that it actually does, but uh, mainly in the battle packs. So there's your shatter foil and your mosaic and your star foil. Next one I want to talk about is the Duelist League Rare. Um, these different rarities they have rare foiling like or it's just like a rare it has the foiled lettering but instead of it being uh, silver they have different colors so this one isn't actually from a duelist league uh, but it has a black now some duelist league have black purple green they have all kind of colors red um, I'll show some pictures on the screen of it this one just happens to be black and uh, it's actually a pretty cool rarity. I really like it because it's not in any of the other things except Dual League, and it makes it really rare. So that's Dual League rares. And last but not least, our final rarity is the Gold Rare. Now this one is pretty cool, I love it. Um, obviously in Platinum Gold, in that set, uh, you have Gold Rare, or Holographics going through the whole card. Um, you can see here, it's just all over the card. It's super cool through the lettering, through the numbers, the uh, border I can get it to focus there yeah you can see it there it's pretty pretty cool and uh, it's just an awesome rarity there so that is gold rare so everyone this might have been a bit of a longer video and I do apologize if it is um, if you watch the whole thing I uh, give props to you because that was a nice bit of <laughs> rarities to go through uh it can get pretty confusing at times but i wouldn't consider all the variations different rarities of the cards some people do i'd rather just stick with what konami and Yu-Gi-Oh says it is actually a rarity itself anyway so if you did enjoy make sure you hit that like button if you really really enjoyed hit that subscribe button as i always say and other than that i'll catch you guys in the next one